All week long, we're showing you cameras perfect for holiday gifting. Yes, that way you can snap a photo of mommy kissing Santa Claus and then daddy kicking Santa's ass. <laughs> Canon wants to be on every amateur photographer's Christmas list this year, which is why they just released the 60D. This DSLR uses an 18 megapixel CMOS sensor and the Digic 4 image processor to capture remarkable pictures with speed and precision. Plus, you can record high def video and continuously shoot at five frames a second, all for 1300 bucks with a lens. Now, this is one of the larger hobbyist cameras we've reviewed. Mm -hmm. It's about six inches across. It weighs about a pound and a half without the lens. Mm -hmm. And the molded grip on the end is easy to carry. So how do you like the overall design? It is. Uh, I think the grip does make it easy to carry. Um, this, this little grip on the lens is great for quick uh, snaps for focus. Yeah. And then the, uh, the or, uh, for zooming, I mean. And the focus ring is actually really nice. Uh, not in auto mode, because then it clicks, because you're going to break it. I should stop that. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. I think it's a little on the heavy side. And I know these cameras aren't like compact point and shoots. But this particular one feels a little hefty to me. Um, I do like that it has a rotating LCD on the back, though. That is very cool. And as we'll get to, some of the buttons are uh, pretty well laid out and designed. And is it easy to use? That's a little tease, little button tease. <laughs> you guys like the layout talk. Little teaser. Yeah. Is it easy to use for someone who's just started to make photography their hobby? Or Yes, for the most part. Um, the scroll wheel makes menus easy to navigate. You get dedicated buttons for things like delete, which you will a lot, and live view. Um, that's really helpful. It looks intimidating, I get that, but you'll get used to it at first and it'll stop hurting, so don't worry. Now there's features like creative art filters and continuous shooting, so how well do these work? Uh, they work very well. You get filters like black and white, miniature, toy camera, which can be applied in camera so you can try out a bunch of different effects without losing the original, which is very important. In some cameras, you apply a filter, you snap it, and that's all you have. This one you can go, oh, that rash looks weird in sepia. And you still have the original photo so that you can apply a filter later or throw it in Photoshop. Um, you also get continuous shooting at 5.3 frames a second, which is actually a little slower than comparable cameras, but so are people that pl play Frolf. Um, <laughs> so they won't notice. Recently, people have been using cameras to shoot television and film just as much as taking pictures. So is the quality good enough to do that? Actually, yes, oh. it is. Uh, it'll record 1920 by 1080 video. That's full 1080p at 30 frames a second. And as you can see, You'll never lose a Frisbee with that quality. Um, it's spectacular. Colors are extremely vibrant. There's very little digital noise. Uh, it would have been nice to have in-body image stabilization, but if you put this thing on a tripod, you're going to have yourself a high-quality video camera. Um, there is one thing about video recording. There's no continuous autofocus, oh. um, which can be a big deal. I mean, obviously, you can go full manual, and, and you probably will. But I want to show this off. If you hold down the, uh, the shutter button, basically, you'll see it try to average out and get its focus. So there's two modes. There's one where it doesn't do that and just get a frame of black in your video. Thanks. Don't recommend that. But here we go. This is a, are we getting a live picture there? All right, so I can zoom in across the studio. Oh, that's blurry. Hold down, and this is what it will do during your video. It'll kind of get in and out, average, and then give you your focus. Sometimes it misses it. Sometimes it's slow. And then you can actually, of course, there we go. Lovely. Hold it. Sell it. Boom. And there we go. Hey! Memories preserved. <laughs> well, obviously, the picture quality is, but is just, is it good as the video? Uh, picture quality is just as good if the video as Thank the video. Thank you for finishing. If not, no, no, no. Uh, it's actually better. Whoa! That sort of thing. It's, it's actually better. These are some of the best normal light photos we have ever seen. Uh, focus and exposure are almost perfect. Color accuracy and saturation are exactly what you want them to be, assuming you want them to be perfect. Uh, low light photos are also very good. They don't blur easily. Uh, and Cam Canon's image sensor is fantastic at exposure, even in little to no light. I mean, look at that. That's, that's great. And as you can see, when you're startling Asian MMA fighters, the flash <laughs> exposes evenly, which is very important. It doesn't wash your subject out. So, it, so it's huzzah. a thousand bucks for just the body. It is. And it's 1300 bucks with the lens. Yeah, which is a good kit lens. Yeah. yeah. Is it a buy or don't buy? It's a buy! Yeah. Hey! It's one of the best cameras we've tested this entire year. It's definitely worth the price if you can afford it.